Hi, I'm Max, and this is BS1, the breadboard synthesizer. I was inspired by all the breadboard computers that people have built in the electronics community, all inspired by Ben Eater's famous computer. However, I want to take a bit of a different approach, since I feel like those computers have been done to death a little bit. So, I turned to analog electronics and decided to build my own subtractive synthesizer all on breadboards. It features a power supply that puts out plus and minus 12 volts, a MIDI to CV converter based on AT Tiny and Jan Ostman's good old MIDI to CV project, two VCO 4069s from Rene Schmitz based on the 4069 hex inverter, two relaxation op amp LFOs, a basic mixer with a little white noise source stuffed in the corner here, two ADSRs based on a CMOS 555, again a Rene Schmitz design, this one the fastest ADSR in the West, a Polyvox clone VCF featuring NTE888M programmable op amps, and finally a Henry Santana VCA based on two JFETs. So let's get started and plug in MIDI audio, and finally power. Now before we get started I want to kind of reset things a little here, this is like my third take, but um, when we start out we will have just, once I bring everything down, of course just nothing. Just some clicks from the filter as the ADSR is hardwired to it, and right now it's just kind of turning it on and off like that. Um, but let me bring this down. All right, so we can bring in an oscillator, and we have a pulse wave. By the way, I'm not a keyboard player. All you're gonna get is black keys. But anyway, pulse wave is nice. We can also get a saw wave. But pulse wave is a little cooler because it has PWM. We can also modulate that with our LFO. But where it gets really exciting is once we bring in that nice Polyvox VCF. I already have the LFO going on that a little bit, so that's why there's some of the wobbling. We can turn that off. Got a nice crunchy, distorted sound, especially once we bring in a second oscillator. resonance more. Let me bring this down a little. Real gnarly. We can also tune our second oscillator a little differently. A little hard to tell with the filter closed off like that. Bring in that LFO again to put some wobble on the filter. Back off the resonance a little bit. Shit, messed it up. Anyway, um, yeah, we can also bring in our white noise source. Potentiometer is a bit stiff because some of these are cheap. Bit hard to hear over our oscillators. I don't have the gain set right. I'm too half-assed to fix it. There we go. 
Got some nice texture to the sound now. We can also go into a bandpass mode on the filter. This is nice if we take off both the oscillators to get some percussive sounds out of the white noise source. If we bring up the resonance. Can bring it up higher and get kind of a hi-hat. Good stuff. But what's also exciting is if we put our filter back into low pass, though this does also work on band pass, and if we take down our noise, we have nothing again. But our filter does self oscillate. It's pretty obnoxious, but if we tame it in right. get some nice kind of kick drum type sounds. So that's cool. Um, there, the design I did use for this Polyvox clone does support having a sine wave self oscillation instead of this kind of trapezoid shape if you look at it under a oscilloscope. But I ran out of board space so we're stuck with this. It also supported volt per octave tracking on the cutoff, but again, ran out of board space, so all we get is this LFO. So let's back that off. Bring back an oscillator. bring back both. Switch this over to a saw wave, just to tame things back a little bit. We can also play with the um, amplitude envelope if we so wish. Bring down the sustain. Get some kind of plucky sounds. That's always fun, but I think it's nice to just go whole hog. Just on and off with the amplitude. <laughs> And that's about all I have to show, actually. Um, it's really a simple synthesizer, but for this compact, all on breadboards, I'm really happy with it, really proud of it. Hope you enjoyed taking a listen to it. One last thing I want to say is I do have a song coming out written with sounds entirely from this synthesizer, though that's going to be released at Flash Party 2021, so that'll be a couple days. That'll get released on my Bandcamp, be able to take a listen. Hope you like it. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks. Bye.